Hey Scorpios, this is a reading to see who the person is that you're thinking about, that's thinking about you, more importantly, <laughs> because we all want to feel like this person is like, if they left, like they had some regrets or, or really try to get inside their mind to see like what the heck is going on with them. So we're going to check it out. Okay. Let's see. Please give me a message for my Scorpio. I'm going to pull four cards here. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Hmm. Cute. Unrequited love. Not so cute. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Maybe we need to incorporate some playfulness, some flirting, some dating in our relationship to kind of like, you know, bring them alive again. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Okay. And you deserve love. You are lovable. If there's a question about that. You guys are intense. And maybe sometimes that intensity, um, you know, you, you kind of put your person off a little bit. But I think that's why I let go of control issues is here. You know, try to be a little more um, lighthearted. You know, bring some playfulness back into your relationship. I'm using the Vice Versa Tarot. My eyes are closed, guys, while I'm shuffling and pulling cards because there are images on both sides and I don't want to see the card that I'm pulling for you, okay? So it's all about how I feel. Who is this? Who is this? Okay, this, part, this card has been standing out to me. I can feel it. Five of Wands could definitely be a Leo that is significant to you does not have to be but somebody with that energy huh this is the the other side the lighter side or what usually um the image that you usually see with the five of wands it's all light bright um arguments i feel like there's been lots of arguments but it's like I feel like you guys are at your wit's end with this. Like, even the arguments have kind of fizzled out. And maybe you guys are just like at the end of your ropes here. Okay. I feel like this person is over the arguing. They're over the, the conflict that you guys have um, shared. They're over it. It's like Pete. So I definitely feel like um, there's no way, there's nowhere else for this to go but out. Like this heatedness, you know? So now it's time to like let bygones be bygones because all of that fighting has caused the disconnect. It's like climaxed. There's like, how can I put it? There's been so many arguments and so many disagreements and, and so much butting heads that it's basically... Um, destroying your relationship if it hasn't already but for a lot of you I feel like you guys are still together I feel like you're still going at it and all it's doing is like putting your relationship in um, a coffin okay yeah Killing it. It's killing it and causing a lot of pain and suffering. I feel like both of you have vacated the building here. This is Libra energy. 
You have Leo and Libra here. So I'm definitely getting that it could be a Leo, a Virgo, and a Libra because, I mean, we have either side of that coin. But there's a lot of pain here. There's a lot of uh, destructiveness that has gone on between you. This person's very hurt. For some reason, I'm feeling like they're disappointed. Um, and, and they don't really feel like they're being, they're loved. For some reason they feel like you don't want them either. Hmm. Okay. And then we have the Hierophant here. This is the side of the Hierophant that we usually see. But somebody's feeling like they have been left in the dust with no support. Um, they feel like one person has already left the relationship. And you guys could definitely be, some of you could definitely be, you know, already have parted ways. And they feel like they have to start all over again by themselves. This could be both of you feeling this way. I'm feeling like um, this is Taurus energy. Somebody feels like they didn't have a voice or they don't have a voice. However this is going for you, whether you're with this person or you're not with this person, there's, there's like this push-pull um, feeling small. Somebody feels small here and unseen, unheard. And then there's strength. This is the um, usual side of strength. This is more like that double energy. People giving in to um, their vices, not standing strong. Hmm. They don't feel strong. This person feels small. They feel um, unimportant. It the the energy that I'm feeling right now is kind of unnerving. Um, this is Leo energy as well. So Leo energy is very strong here. Again, Taurus, Libra, I feel um, Virgos here too with this. A lot of codependency. Um, somebody has way more control in the relationship than the other person is what I'm getting to. Let me pull some clarifying cards here. <clears throat> Five of Wands. There's that devil energy again that comes out on top here. Three cards came out. We have the Two of Wands here, which is Aries energy. And we have the Four of Swords here, which is Libra energy. Somebody's struggling. They're struggling. Devil's Capricorn energy. They have a hard time letting go of you. There's somebody that's so in control in this relationship, whether it's you or whether it's them. Um, hands down and one of you feels like you need to get away but something keeps you drawn in to this relationship somebody feels like they need an escape they need to regroup they need to recuperate 
this person feels beat down <clears throat> three of pentacles they feel cheated on they feel like you guys have somebody else and possibly somebody that you work with or you feel like they cheated on you because your energy is like crossing up and you both could feel this way somebody's ego is very strong here I feel I feel very dominated <clears throat> Knight of Pentacles, Taurus energy. Somebody's planning. Somebody's planning a comeback. Very slow, very methodical. Somebody's planning something. Or somebody's planning to leave. It's just taking them a long time. I feel like... I feel like for some of you, if you're with this person, somebody's planning to leave. They're planning to leave. They're trying to figure out a way out. But they don't really have the strength to do so right now. And for those of you who this person has already left, I feel like they're coming back. Because they feel like, for some reason, they cannot live without you. Almost like you're their, um, their master. Master is a horrible word, but for some reason it came out my mouth. Almost like, um, um, what, what do you call it? Shit. <laughs> um, we have a dominatrix. It's almost like that kind of energy. Hmm. And then we have the Hermit in reverse. Somebody's coming out. Somebody wants to start over. Virgo, Taurus energy here with the Empress. Somebody wants to start over here. But I feel like, you know, they're not in a good head space. There's, there's something funny going on here. Something really funny going on here. What do they really want with Scorpios? Climbing towards success. You guys are so mysterious. A sincere wish will be granted. Huh. Somebody wants to come back. But also somebody is looking for an escape at the same time for some reason the person is looking for an escape it's having a hard time like really letting go and you may have a hard time letting them go or vice versa okay so that is what I see here and what I have for you and um, I'll be speaking with you guys soon namaste